Hello everybody, this is Yogesh Singh, currently doing my MTech from IIC Bangalore. So I have been getting many messages to guide about IIC MTech admission. So here I'm making video about it. So uh, as I said in the last video, IIC में MTech दो type का होता है, एक होता है MTech course, एक होता है MTech research. MTech course two years fixed program होता है, और MTech research is not time bounded. It's more about research, it's about dissertation, thesis submission. So generally it is two to two and half year. तो so, accordingly आप apply कर सकते हैं, and आप दोनों में भी apply कर सकते हैं. So uh, let us see first basic eligibility क्या होना चाहिए. तो बेसिक एलिजिबिलिटी इस आपके पास पहले तो बैचलर डिग्री होना चाहिए इन इंजीनियरिंग और टेक्नोलॉजी अगर आपके पास एमएससी भी है इन दीज डिपार्टमेंट्स फिजिक्स इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन एंड ऑल तो एमएससी वाले भी अप्लाई कर सकते हैं विद विद दैट आपके पास गेट 2020 या 2021 और ट्वेंटी का वैलिड गेट स्कोर होना चाहिए उसके बाद अगर आप आपने डिप्लोमा किया है एंड गॉट एग्जामेशन ऑफ वन ईयर इन इंजीनियरिंग टेक्नोलॉजी दैन यू ऑल्सो कैन अप्लाई एंड इफ़ यू आर स्टिल इन फाइनल ईयर दैन आप भी अप्लाई कर सकते हैं एन इंपॉर्टेंट थिंग इज अगर आप इनिशियली एम टेक ज्वाइन करते हैं एंड लेटर ऑन यू कैन कन्वर्ट इट इन टू पी एच डी डिपेंडिंग अपॉन आपका यू नो एकेडमिक असेसमेंट कैसा है सो दिस इज अबाउट बेसिक एलिजिबिलिटी नाउ लेट एस अंडरस्टैंड वट इज गोइंग टू बी सिलेक्शन प्रोसीजर किन डिपार्टमेंट्स में इंटरव्यू होगा विद गेट स्कोर किन डिपार्टमेंट में इंटरव्यू प्लस रिटर्न टेस्ट भी होने वाला है और किन डिपार्टमेंट में ओनली विद गेट गेट स्कोर सिलेक्शन होने वाला है ओके सो लेट एस सी द सिलेक्शन प्रोसीजर नाउ सो इफ़ यू वॉन्ट टू अप्लाई फॉर द डिपार्टमेंट्स इन एरोस्पेस इंजीनियरिंग केमिकल इंजीनियरिंग सिविल इंजीनियरिंग इंस्ट्रूमेंटेशन सिस्टम मेटेरियल्स इंजीनियरिंग दैन फॉर यू द सिलेक्शन प्रोसीजर इज गोइंग टू बी हंड्रेड परसेंट गेट स्कोर ओके सो योर सिलेक्शन प्रोसीजर गोइंग टू बी बेस्ड ऑन हंड्रेड परसेंट गेट स्कोर अगर दो लोगों का गेट स्कोर सेम होगा दैन दैट टाइप विल बी रिजॉल्व बेस्ड ऑन द परफॉर्मेंस इन द क्वालिफाइंग एग्जामिनेशन ओके सो जिसका परफॉर्मेंस बेटर होगा दैट विल बी गिवन हायर प्रायरिटी सो एंड टू अदर डिपार्टमेंट्स लाइक बायो इंजीनियरिंग and climate science earth science electrical engineering electronics and communication engineering electronics product design electronic system engineering mechanical engineering microelectronics and vlsi design nano science and engineering quantum technology robotics and autonomous system signal processing in all these departments the selection procedure is based the selection procedure is based on 70% gate score plus 30% performance in interview and uh, for the departments departments like uh, artificial intelligence computer science and engineering your selection procedure is based on 70% gate score plus 30% performance in written test so instead of uh, interview you are going to have written test and uh, for the departments computational and data science and smart manufacturing your uh, selection procedure is 70% gate score plus 30% performance in written test and interview so you are going to have both the things uh, written test and interview Now let's talk about the selection procedure department wise. Like किस department में कितनी vacancies होंगी कौन से branch के gate score पर कौन सा department आपको मिलेगा और जो भी department आप choose कर रहे हैं उस department में area of study क्या होगा Let's talk about all those things. So let's go to the department. Okay. So I'm starting with the artificial intelligence. Anyways, I'm going to share all these links in the description. So for other departments, you can check out. I'm starting with the artificial intelligence. So artificial intelligence department. This department is jointly conducted by these four departments. That is electrical engineering, computer science and automation, computer science and automation, electrical communication engineering, electronic system engineering. So in this department, we have uh, they have forty uh, seven vacancies. And कौन लोग इसमें apply कर सकते हैं? You should have B, B Tech or equivalent degree with gate score in CS, EE and EC. Okay. And they are asking candidates should have done a formal course in uh, programming in C or C++. C and C++. So EE or EC वालों के पास तो C, C++ का कोई formal course होगा नहीं. But if you have knowledge, then you can apply. So selection procedure is going to be 70% gate score and 30% written test. And your area of study, your M Tech is going to be about uh, digital signal processing, machine learning, pattern recognition, computer vision, graphics, stochastic systems, multimedia, real time and fault tolerant systems, sensor networks, e-commerce, speech. Uh, Speech processing, real-time signal processing, and ambient system. So these are these are going to be areas of studies. Now uh, let's uh, talk about uh, the computer science engineering. So uh, vacancy in CS is 62, and uh, who can apply? You should have B, B Tech, or equivalent degree with gate paper CS. Only CS people can apply. And your selection procedure is 70% gate score and 30% written test. And you can check out uh, your area of studies. Now. Uh, For the Department of Electronics and Communication Engineering, again, uh, uh, so vacancies are 27. And uh, if you have uh, gate paper in EC or EE, you can apply. And selection procedure is again 70% gate score and 30% interview. And uh, area of studies are communication and networking, information and coding theory, wireless, wireless communication, AIML for communication, cyber physical systems, high frequency circuits and systems, signal and information science. So this is going to be area of study. 
for electronic system engineering department uh, vacancies are 33 and who can apply if you have B, tech or equivalent degree with valid gate in double e c s e c i n so these four uh, uh, gate pip, these four departments can apply and uh, or if you have msc equivalent degree in physics mathematics statistics electronics computer science or photonics photonics with the valid gate paper in double e e c c s or i n also they have uh, given that msc or equivalent degree holders should possess two year experience in electronic hardware so if you are msc in these departments then uh, uh, another requirement is you should have two year experience in electronics hardware again selection procedure is same 70 percent gate score and 30 percent interview and your area of study are going to be communication network embedded system power conversion VLSI design, electronic system packaging, electromagnetic uh, compatibility, analog circuit, megatronics, product engineering, signal processing and information theory, VLSI system architecture. So uh, this is the area of study. You should uh, you know choose a department based on your interest. Uh, before you apply, you should check out the area of study and then uh, based on, on your interest, you can uh, choose uh, the priority. You can set the priority for uh, departments. Now in case of electrical engineering department, vacancies are 30 and who can apply if you have valid gate paper in double E. So only double E people can apply and selection procedure is same, 30% interview and 70% uh, gate score. Area of study, power system, power electronics, high voltage engineering. Now uh, electronic product design, so if you, if you, you, know, if you have interest uh, towards the entrepreneurship then uh, this department is for you. Uh, in this, uh, um, most of the time or most of the duration of your coursework you will be working on a project with uh, any some industry so uh, mainly this uh, department is for the people who have interest in entrepreneurship because uh, they will be more focusing on product electronics product designing and uh, iot uh, all these things embedded uh, these things will be there so uh, vacancies are uh, there 25 and who can apply if you have be b tech or equivalent degree in electronics electrical electrical communication mechanical mechatronics instrumentation if you have btech uh, in these departments then with valid gate score in ec double e in and me you can apply selection procedure is 70 percent gate score 30 percent interview and your area of study will be electronic product design they will be uh, more focusing on the product design electronic product designing so uh, let's talk now for instrumentation system so in instrumentation uh, vacancies are five and uh, who can apply if you have B, B tech or equivalent degree with the with the gate paper in double E, ECIN or MSc or equivalent degree with specialization in instrumentation, physics, electronics with gate paper in relevant disciplines, then you can apply and your selection is based on 100% gate score. You are not going to have any written test or neither any interview. It is simply based on 100% gate score. You can check out your area of study and now let's talk about the MVLSI. So uh, vacancies are 27 and uh, this department is jointly conducted by electrical communication engineering and electronic system engineering. So qualification is going to be if you should have B, B tech or equivalent degree with gate paper in double E, e C, C, S or I N. So these four uh, branches are eligible to apply for uh, VLSI. Selection procedure again 70% gate score, 30% interview and uh, area of study is digital VLSI circuit, analog VLSI circuit. Semiconductor device and technology, nano electronics devices, micro electronics lab, digital systems design with FPGA, physics uh, and design of transistors, carrier transport and nano electronics devices, art of compact modeling, optoelectronics devices, RFIC and systems, photonic uh, integrated circuits, design of power semiconductor device, reliability of nanoscale circuits and system. So this is going to be area of study. Your MTech is going to be about uh, these only. Okay. Next is nano science and engineering. In nano science and engineering, vacancies are eight. Department is Sense, that is Center for Nano Science and Engineering. Who can apply B, B Tech or equivalent degree in any discipline with gate paper in? in? These so many departments are eligible for this. Or if you have a MSc equivalent degree in electronics, physics, chemistry with gate paper in chemistry, ECIN, and PH paper, then you can apply. Flexion is based on 70% gate score. Again, 30% interview is going to be there. Area of study you can check out and. Next is quantum technology. This department comes under instrumentation and applied physics. So uh, vacancies are 20 and uh, you can check out uh, the qualification B, B tech degree in any discipline with valid gate paper. Okay, So all the people are eligible for this department. They have not mentioned any specific uh, branch. Okay, Or if you have MSc degree in any discipline or if you have MSc in any discipline then also you can apply. So if you have four year bachelor of science or equivalent in any discipline or science 
discipline of science or research with valid gate then you also can apply in all cases a strong mathematical background is required so the requirement is you should have very good in mathematics selection procedure is again 70% gate score and 30% interview and the area officially you can check out quantum computation and simulation quantum communication and cryptography quantum sensing and metrology quantum aided and device so and next let's talk about signal processing uh, the, this department is having uh, 22 vacancies this department is jointly conducted by electronics electrical engineering and electrical communication engineering now who can apply in this department uh, be btech or equivalent degree with the uh, gate paper in double ec so if you have only double or ec people are eligible for this and selection procedure is again based on 70 percent gate score and 30 percent interview you can check out uh, area of study you are going to study digital signal image processing computer vision artificial intelligence machine learning deep learning so you can check out this i will provide all the link in the description so this is about what department is needing what qualification and uh, what is going to be selection uh, selection procedure so uh, isc has a lot of flexibility if you choose one department then you have flexibility to credit uh, the courses from other department for example if you go in uh, iap that is instrumentation applied physics then you can credit the courses from uh, vlsi you can create the courses from dsc or if you get desc then you can create the course from vlsi so isc has a lot of flexibility so based on our interest i would recommend you uh, if you choose any department then uh, uh, you should go uh, first for area of study so that uh, you would have interest in that department. Now uh, talking about the placement, uh, IC has uh, very good placements in uh, almost all the departments. So uh, more than uh, you don't have to care about the placement if you come to IC, uh, more than the placement you have to care about uh, what is your interest because the placements are not issued in IC. So you easily get placed in most of the departments there are not placed, there are a very good placement uh, departments like VLSI, DSC and uh, artificial intelligence they are very good placement DSE and the VLSI um, I think they are hundred percent placements so uh, again I would say uh, don't uh, just think about the placements if you come to ISE just focus on uh, your interest or your use or, or care more about the choosing area of study so this is about uh, uh, the selection procedure now let's uh, talk about the fee structure and scholarship so uh, for uh, applying online application fees going to be 800 for general OBC EWS candidates and 400 for SCST and PW candidates. For ERP it's going to be 2000 and for sponsorship candidates it's going to be 800. Now scholarship and fellowship so this scholarship is going to be 12,400 for both MTech research and MTech course programs so similarly you can also check out for PhD and integrated PhD or BS or Bachelor of Science research. Now uh, fee structure for regular research program. So if your uh, semester or your this is a annum. This is not a per sem per sem fees. This is a per annum fees. So uh, for the uh, regular research for M Tech research for general OBC EWS category, your M Tech research fees is going to be twenty nine thousand two hundred, and for SCST your M Tech research fees is going to be twenty thousand two hundred. So this is per annum. This is not uh, semesters. And uh, similarly in case of uh, uh, MTech course program the fee is same as uh, as the uh, as in case of uh, MTech research so this is about the fee structure now let's talk about the important dates so for MTech course program the application already started it's from 15th of Feb and for MTech research application are starting from today that is from 18th of February now last date is going to be uh, 22 March and uh, last date to update national entrance test because the people who have given gate in 2022 uh, they they are not having a, a gate score right now so uh, they can apply as of now they can apply they can fill a roll number they can fill uh, the, the paper in the department in which they have given the uh, uh, gate and uh, when your result will be when gate result will be out then you will have options to update the, uh, your score as of now you can leave the blank that score option and when your result is out you can upload that there so last date uh, to update your gate will be, is going to be 25th March and uh, interview let's talk about the interview schedule so for MTech program so for MTech course program the interviews or aptitude test whatever you have uh, they, it, they, this time it is going to be on, offline in uh, campus only last time it was online so in offline it is aptitude test or interview this is going to be on 18th to 18, 18th of April to 22 of April and uh, for MTech research this your uh, interview is going to be from 23 to 27 may now if, if you get selected then date of reporting at isc so for mtech course program people 
the reporting is on 19 and 20 july for research people the reporting is going to be on 21st and 22nd july so and your classes will be starting on the 1st august of 2022 okay now how to apply i will be providing i will be providing the link in the description so uh, you can apply from the, from this link you can apply for the post of uh, mtech research and from this link you can apply for post uh, for the post of mtech course so uh, you can uh, go you can click on this link and you will be directed to this page new year to register you have to click here and you can start filling the things okay so this is how you can apply and uh, i hope i have covered all the details uh, this this is going to help you before you apply and i would say uh, before you apply you should go to area of study first and then uh, based on your interest you can uh, choose the priority in the upcoming video we will we will see how we have to prepare for the interviews so i have covered all the updates so you can apply for the uh, departments according to your interest and uh, this is all about this video we will end this video here thank you